glows in flames. Hello, Capricorn. This is going to be your Christmas weekend reading. It's a special set of readings that I'm doing. I don't normally post uh, readings by zodiac sign on this channel, but I decided to make an exception and to do something extra, guys. So it's a little bit more personalized. Uh, probably going to hit a little closer. If uh, you're checking your sun sign and the story is not for you, you do not resonate, don't force it. Uh, it's better to try your other placements. So sun, moon, rising or Venus, any of those could be yours. Uh, if you don't know what they are, uh, there is a you can look it up online. There are websites that uh, where you can put in your date and time of birth, and they will tell you what those placements are. Uh, it's actually a very good idea, just in general, to have your natal chart available to you because it's like an additional sort of roadmap for um, both your strong and weak points and also some of the kind of destiny um, milestones, I would say. Yeah, and that's a completely different topic, so I'm not going to go into that right now. But yeah, definitely worth uh, putting it together if you don't if you don't have it, if you don't know your placements. Okay, as usual, I'm going to start with an oracle card, then we're going to get into the energies. But this time, because I'm not focusing as much on DMDF, but rather on the viewer's zodiac sign, then I'm going to be doing energy for Capricorn viewers, then energy for their twin flame, and then the energy of the twin flame connection at this time. And at the end, I've got my Hermit Tarot cards, so I'm going to pull some cards from uh, Capricorn's twin flame to them. All right, let's get going. Let's see what kind of advice we have for Capricorn for this Christmas weekend. And happy holidays, guys. I hope you all feel festive, cozy, full, <laughs> joyful, whatever it does, does it for you. Even if it's not Christmas for you because you don't celebrate it. Um, you know, it's weekend. Let's celebrate that. It's end of the year. Let's acknowledge what was done, what was accomplished. Oh, two cards for you. We gotta buy the book, number 11, master number. And loyal heart, number 35. Wow, I love this. Mm. So it looks like loyal heart, that's what I'm getting here for you is loyal heart at the moment and the true heart, the loving heart is like the compass that is guiding you and you see this desert and the elephants going through to me like that's your compass that's helping you get through the desert and yes sometimes it may not it may not look right if you compare the notes with the book with the like how would other people do it or what would you normally do and what loyal heart is telling you now what your heart is telling you now is something different but just go for it there is a there's a big meaning behind it yeah but if your heart is not telling you to do that or it doesn't feel right then don't it's about discernment right where it's your intuition talking where it's your fear talking and it's not easy to tell between the difference between the two all the time it actually it comes with experience with time but still every now and then we have doubts and it's normal okay let's take a look at the tarot cards and see what's happening with the energies so what's the energy for capricorn this weekend what do capricorns need to know king of pentacles wow i love this it's your element the earth what about uh, and we actually have speaking of capricorns we have this guy with uh, with horns yeah, he's actually like half goat. You can see like he's got the paws here. So it's like half human, half goat. It's pretty cool. And king is like the highest interpretation of the suit. So yeah, master of, of the earth, of pentacles. I love where this is going. <laughs> uh, what's the energy of Capricorn stone flame? during this time. The 
the tower wow what's the energy of the connection i'm gonna pull some clarifiers we'll see so far all this thing is really interesting i might be doing them more often we'll see and of course if you like readings by zodiac signs you may want to check out my other channel mindful bamboo that's where i post by uh, sign more often so we've got ten of wands for the connection bottom of the deck four of cups Okay, let's clarify Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn. Power of Wands. Hmm. Let's clarify the Tower. I'm getting a lot of cards. Can you give me? Yeah, thank you. Ten of Cups, please clarify Ten of Wands. Six of Cups. All right, bottom of the deck here, King of Pentacles. So it's double confirmation. Yes. If we had any doubt, well, we didn't. So King of Pentacles clarified by Five of Wands. This is for you, Capricorn. So yes, you've reached or you are reaching the mastery of your uh, field, of your occupation, whatever your whatever your main occupation in life is right now through discernment of what is true and what is like a background noise there's a lot of information coming into our uh, consciousness these days from all over the place and five of wands normally is about uh, a lot of people being involved too many opinions too many cooks you know that sort of idea in this deck notice that there is this one wand that's kind of like diving out that's raised or being raised up to the sky so this is you being able to tell where it's just uh, this all this information that's coming into your reality which part of it is just noise and which part of it is true is the truth right and where the that inspiration drives you you go and that's how you're reaching this creative this uh mastery or if you're not there yet that that's what you're supposed to be doing For your person, we've got the tower clarified the Queen of Cups. And look how similar the colors are in this deck. It's, I mean, in these two decks, right? There's are two different decks. But look at the colors. They actually match my tree as well. <laughs> it's more around the female chakras, the throat, and also the crown chakra. A little bit of third eye in there. But yeah, definitely whatever big changes are happening in your person's life, uh, and it's a major arcana, so it's a divine intervention. It's the universe bringing something in or destroying something on their path. Or whatever it, it is happening, you probably know what it is. Yeah, I'm getting that a lot of you already know what this tower is about. But it's helping them to find a new level of self-love and appreciation. As surprising as it may be at the first glance, because it seems like it's devastating, there's they are like, it's overwhelming, but one way or another, and I, again, take it how resonance because there are a lot of scenarios, this is a collective reading, but it's driving them within to find that inner strength, to find that uh, inner want of inspiration, also the cup of love, to focus on that right now. It's pretty cool. And for the connection, we have Ten of Wands clarified by Six of Cups. So definitely it's time to drop the burdens, to drop whatever weight of the world you've been carrying around Capricorn. And Capricorn, of course, being an Earth sign, is a very responsible, very hardworking type of personality. <sighs> but here you can see, and a lot of times, and I'm an Earth sign myself, a lot of times it's harder for earth signs to discern those of kind of like am i doing the right thing because we are more inclined of capricorn in particular there's a lot about structure rules and following certain um regimen certain schedule right it's kind of like having that structure it's about having a structure so a lot of times of course structure is brought by the society by some artificial norms 
And Capricorns feel good about like when they have something to follow, when they have a rule book. They like having a rule book. Talking about the um, talking about the card by the rule book, right? That's why I was saying that it may feel to you that it's not that you are asked to do something that's not according to the rule book. But guess what? We saw those two cards, those two things in the um, in the Oracle deck, and we see those kind of represented here. So this is the rule book, Ten of Wands. It's giving you Ten of Wands, Capricorn. Come on, both you and your person, you're mirroring each other here. And you're asked to focus on the innocence of love, on the kind of childhood wonder, on what you already know, but you've forgotten because you grew up in the society and your surrounding kind of reshaped you and put you into that structure, artificial structure. So you're asked to come back to yourself, to your innocence, to your authentic self, right? And the answers are all there. It's going to be easy to, uh, to get rid of the burdens to finish that cycle. To have something wonderful coming into your life. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's get some messages from um, Capricorn Spring Flame to them. What would your Twin Flame like to tell you? What's in their heart and mind right now? Hmm, I like where this is going. Okay. I'm generous with cards today, or the spirit is either either one. <laughs> I feel the same way, it's pretty cool, light, I'm addicted to you, mm, I love this, so they're addicted to your light Capricorn, that's the key thing, that's, that's so cool, we have more cards, I just wish things were different and I want to get you drunk, yeah, so they are inspired, they are fascinated by you, but they know that in reality things are not where they want to be, and yeah, definitely we're seeing, especially with this devil energy, twice right um they they're craving this physical closeness and they're almost ready to kind of they you see the, the wish they see the gap between the reality and uh what they want to see especially that queen of cups energy that is getting into them now but for you know for them it's kind of it resonates as i wish things were different and also it's almost like I'm ready to break the rule of, of knighthood or whatever, chivalry and, uh, um, you know, to, to get where I want to be, something like that. Okay, I hope this has been useful for you, for you Capricorn. Uh, this has been a wonderful reading, truly. I'm really, really pleased with it and uh, I wish you all the best luck. I'll be back with more interesting readings. Uh, starting next week so it's a I'm posting these videos for you it's a present for you but it's also a little bit of time for me for myself but I'll definitely post more stuff next week bye guys